Well, there ain't a better way to pass the tick, tick, ticking of the unrelenting march of time. Then a flip, 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 and through a book like me. Why don't you crack my egg and smile? You never know what you're gonna find. What you're gonna find. Now you can study astrophysics or ontology, the migratory paths of Albacore. Can even master 20 languages and still have room for every detail of the Punic Wars. You'd be surprised, surprised, surprised. what you can fit in your mind. Go on, Go on and jot a couple, couple notes, notes about the tundra stowed or the roaming of magnetic poles. About how long it'd take a crusty old tyrannosaur to digest your learned body whole. How about a chapter on the history of cobalt blue or the spores of love which is a tree or how old Frank Hayes won a steeplechase back in 1923. You'll never grow just knowing what you already know. Read. To appease every single little itch of curiosity. Come on and give me a leaf. Well, you can read so much that you can spout 154 of old Bill sonnets off the top of your head. And you can read so much the cowards of this world will hunt you down and lock you up until they shoot you dead. In any case, it's nice to be well read. Nice to be 